Johan Cruyff will forever be known as one of the greatest to ever grace a football field and dugout, due to his achievements with Ajax, Barcelona and the Netherlands national team. But an often overlooked part of Cruyff's career is his final season playing the game. In a twist of fate, he would leave boyhood club Ajax to join their rivals, Feyenoord. What followed next was an ideal swan song for Cruyff's magnificent playing career. This is a story of Double Delight, Johan Cruyff's year at Feyenoord. The best part of Johan Cruyff's playing career was spent across two spells at boyhood club Ajax, as well as one at Barcelona. After spells at Los Angeles Aztecs, the Washington Diplomats and Levante, he would rejoin Ajax in 1981. With Cruyff back, Ajax won the Eredivisie in 1982 and 1983, along with the KNVB Cup in 83 to make it a double. But issues upstairs would lead to Cruyff departing the club for a second time. He was unhappy with the board criticising him for his age and weight, whilst also implying he should take a pay cut. It is speculated the board wanted to offer Cruyff a contract they knew he would reject, so that they would no longer have to spend so much money on the wages of the player they felt was past his best. If that were the case, then the board got their wish. Cruyff would not sign a new deal at Ajax, and left the club for a second time. Cruyff, now aged 36, was furious about the saga, and would shock Dutch football by signing for Ajax's bitter rivals, Feyenoord. Feyenoord were a club who had struggled for a number of years. They had become the first Dutch side to win the European Cup in 1970, but since then they had been on the decline, and had not won the league title since 1974. Sides such as PSV Eindhoven and AZ Alkmaar had overtaken them in title challenges. Whilst it would be difficult for Cruyff to immediately win over the hearts of fans who had loathed him for so many years, these doubts were put aside when Feyenoord started the campaign in fine form, winning five of their first six games. Cruyff would return to Ajax to face his old side, keen for revenge. But any hopes of Cruyff getting one over his old side were brutally put to bed when Ajax ran out as 8-2 winners. Whilst for many teams this would have knocked the wind out of their sails, it did quite the opposite for Feyenoord. Feyenoord would go five months unbeaten in the league, with Cruyff's teammates such as Ruud Hullet, Peter Hootsman, André Hoekstra, Sijak Troost and Michael van der Korput greatly impressing. They would also enact some vengeance on Ajax, knocking them out of the KNVB Cup in the last 16. They would lose to eventual winners Tottenham in the UEFA Cup last 16, but they were still fighting on two fronts. It was soon D-Day at De Kuyp. Ajax would travel to Rotterdam for a league game, with the aim of doing the double over their rivals and grinding Feyenoord's title chase to a halt. But Cruyff and his new teammates had other ideas. Early on in the match, Ruud Hullet hit a free kick into the net, and only minutes later, Cruyff would net from close range to double his side's advantage and leave egg on the face of all those in the Ajax boardroom. The game finished 4-1 to Feyenoord. They had thrashed their rivals, showing them what they were missing and announcing themselves in the title chase. Their fine form continued, winning 8 and drawing 3 of their last 11 games, with the title effectively sealed with 2 games to go after a 3-0 win against Utrecht. They had won their first league title in 10 years in style, with 25 wins out of 34 games, only 2 defeats and 96 goals scored, whilst Ajax would finish third. One trophy was dealt with, but they had a chance to clinch another. Feyenoord had reached the KNVB Cup final, where they would face Fortuna Sittard, and the game would take place in their own backyard, De Kuyp. The double was sealed for Feyenoord, with a 72nd minute winner from Peter Hootsman. Feyenoord had won the double, thanks largely to the stunning signing of Cruyff. Ajax were left to ruin their mistakes, wondering what might have been had they kept their star man. Johan Cruyff was awarded the honour of Dutch Footballer of the Year for the fifth time at the end of the season. He would announce his retirement from playing football soon after, capping one of the greatest playing careers of all time in incredible style. Johan Cruyff's season at Feyenoord is one of football's most unlikely successes. 
He was able to win over fans who had detested him as a rival for many years, and in what was essentially a revenge mission, succeeded incredibly. It is a testament to his ability that in the twilight of his career, he could join a struggling side and transform their fortunes, and it leads one to wonder what the Ajax board were thinking. Croy's sole season at Feyenoord may be overshadowed by other achievements, but it is without a doubt one of the high points of his career, and the fact that his move led to revenge being conducted in such a perfect style shows how incredible a footballer Johan Cruyff was.